to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Well, James, finally happened. <laughs> what? Finally happened. I think all of us in America were waiting for this day, hoping for this day, and praying for this day. Bradley Cooper <laughs> split up with his girlfriend, whatever Czechoslovakia name it is. What are your thoughts on this? What do you think caused this? Um, I'm on a deep end, watch as I dive in. I'll never reach the ground. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. My I mean, thoughts exactly. Do I look as gorgeous as she does doing it? Yes, you do actually. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Just a. <laughs> you do look like a young gaga. Tell me something, Brad. Yeah. We all knew this was coming, though, didn't we? We did, but do I really think she's the cause of it? No. Do you? Inadvertently, yes. Inadvertently, yes, I do. I go, I, I'm going back and forth on this one, because this was the, the first story I read when I woke up this morning. Sure. Because we tape this, usually tape the Monday shows on a Friday. The first story I, I, I woke up to, and I was like, oh, and it was people who reported it. Right. Who were pretty, pretty on the up and up. Sure, as on the far cusp. as uh, the rags on the go. cutting edge, yeah, people. Some lines you can you can still depend on people, right? I think so. The other ones have definitely fallen to the to the wayside to the tabloid style. Yeah, us uh, things like this, they're definitely reporting untruths. But I think people yeah. still has to toe the line a little bit as far as what they. Yeah, I, I I think so. So when I read it, I was like, all right, this is this is true. And obviously now everybody's like, oh, is this why I I'm going to lean towards yes. And like I said, inadvertently, yes. And this is what I always said: Are they going to be together? Did they sleep together? No. But it's the idea of he's out of the house, hanging out with someone who is one of the most famous pop stars on the planet. pop stars. Single, basically single. I mean, she had some no, little. Fian- she had a fiance, but yeah, she yeah. did that, what the that was fuck with. she wanted to do. Yeah, that was over no with Oscar kids. week, right? Yeah, no kids. She does what she wants, free spirit, if you will. And yeah. when you have kids and a ball and chain home, like I tell you all the time, those good time gals, they look really like. Oh, this is how it's supposed to be. Not yeah. nagging yep. about the kid at yeah. home, you know. Yep. And so, it, like I said, it gives you a peek on the other side of the fence. And that is the problem. Again, that was the Jennifer, you know, your Lawrence yeah. gal and oh, Pratt, yeah, yeah, yeah. where yeah. it was like, it wasn't that they did anything that they like hooked up. I don't believe yeah. that at all. You think they did? I do. I do. Yes. You do? Yeah, I think, I think, I think in both situations that that happened. You think Bradley Cooper and Gaga hooked up? Yes, I do. I do. I don't think that you can be that cozy, cozy with cozy cozy if you have hooked up i think that maybe sometime in the future they might now but i think the tension of not doing it is what got them to this point Uh. and able to hug and be so close because that's people don't work that way like if you really are cheating with somebody right you aren't lovey with them in front of your significant other the only way that that works i think that's is a if nice it has cover. A hiding in plain sight yeah nice to know how you feel and so <laughs> nice to know that you have a plan um <laughs> but yeah uh i also think you know they were fighting before i don't think they get along too well we've seen them at what a, a tennis match a open the British Open. Uh, yeah, you're talking. No, no, we're what was close it? to it. What was uh, it? It was a long time ago. Wimbledon. Wimbledon, yeah, yeah Wimbledon. I, I think they were fighting there, and that's uh, in the U.S. Open. He's a big tennis fan, um, which is yeah, it's cool, I guess. Um, it makes sense. Yeah, it's I mean, like the 
Good on you. The most femme sport to be super into <laughs> as a guy. Like, if that's your one thing, ooh, tennis. Yeah. 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 It's Whenever a I go over to another of... dude's house and he's like, man, I want to throw on that tennis tournament. Ooh. It's just like, hey. You ready to get whoa, loose, whoa, 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 brother? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, man, Chest there's a bump. million other things on tonight than than. <laughs> I mean, I would rather watch The Bachelorette than this. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Um, And the mom, I think, had a lot to do with it. They're weirdly close. Bradley Cooper's mom? Yeah, there's a lot of footage that they were showing because they talked about it on the Today Show as well today. So there was a lot of footage they were showing of him and the wife, him and the girlfriend, and then the mom is literally right next to him, Uh like in these pictures. And she's kind of, she pops up everywhere in all these pictures they were showing. So she may have been an issue. Having a two-year-old, I mean, as we know, can definitely drive you to, oh, break, yeah. to break up. Yeah. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. I think it should be illegal for people to, I think it should be very, very difficult for people with small children to get divorced, that there's no domestic violence or alcoholism or cheating or anything like this. Right. I think it should be very difficult because you do wake up one day when the kids are older and go, oh, fuck. What was that? Yeah. That was a fucking... We weren't even the same people. The way we were fighting, the way... Anything, right? You just are such a different... Different people dealing with different emotions and life and everything when you have small kids. So... He's got a small child, though. You know that. I'm saying it should be very... I think it should be very difficult for people to they weren't married but they were married i think it should be very a lot more difficult than it is for people to separate or divorce or break up whatever when they have very small children and just be kind of like hey just so you know yeah. i know you may be feeling this right now <laughs> but i promise you when that kid is four you will look at your partner and be like hey how are you doing? Yeah. I haven't seen you in four years yeah. and it's really good to see you and let's like get back to it. I think, I think the other problem with this for Bradley Cooper is have you seen, have you seen his girlfriend? She's hideous. Uh, really, really unattractive. If you hate, if you hate supermodels. Right. Um, but I, I really want to preface that by saying only if you hate supermodels. And that's clearly you your don't. type. Yeah. <laughs> Tall, dark, yeah. skinny. Mysterious. Mysterious. A little hint of, is she Moroccan? Right. Keeps her mouth shut. <laughs> you love it, huh? That's your type. Don't talk. Yeah. Don't Just say pose. a word. Yeah. <laughs> don't say one fucking word to me. I don't need to hear it. Right. I don't know what's going to happen with this, uh, this whole thing, but I, I, I think that this is the relationship we deserve right now in the world. With Gaga and him. Oh, my God. I mean, I would yeah. love it. Because she's still in Vegas, right? I would love it. Yeah. Uh, unless you were at that one performance or at the Oscars. You know, you got to see them sing together. You know, selfishly, mm-hmm. I'd like to see him slide on out to Vegas for a couple weekend shows and then pop out there and see it. Right. Because I'm, I'm caught up in his whole Oof. shit. Um, I, I get the, them. Do you, have you heard the soundtrack? The full soundtrack? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they put in lines from the movie mm-hmm. in the soundtrack Brilliant. where it's just like, oh, man. Uh, it's I got very. A thing and a thing and a yeah. Um, it's very Romeo and Juliet soundtrack. Remember that? Oh, yeah. They would put scenes in yep. between the songs. Yeah. Now they, they knocked it out. I think mm. it's the relationship we deserve, the people deserve. So sure. I'd like There's to see it happen, even if it goes on. down in flames, because let's face it. Dayton Gaga, the baggage that comes with that. Holy mm. shit. Mm-mm. We watched that doc on her. There's like 60 people over at her house all the time. To deal with her Wardrobe, various... Wardrobe, glam, music, and then various, producers. Um, you know, anxieties or uh, weird pains that she needs to deal with. Yeah. And I mean, there's a lot of... I don't know if you would ever get a look in your direction from her daily. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Everything is about her on a day date, right? Yeah. Day to day. I would say I would say so. And everyone in the room is about her. It would definitely be a thing of push a lot of pushing you out of the way, a lot of can you sit over there? Can you go in another room? Yeah. What are you doing here? Which let's face it, if you're as if you're as busy as Bradley Cooper, that's cool. Not a bad thing. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Oh cool. You you want to be left the fuck alone right now? Awesome. Cause I've got a million projects to deal with. Right. Including the Hulk Hogan biopic. So 
Yeah, he's on that. In what he, capacity? Producing that. Oh, producing? Yeah, yeah. So it's him. Anything and I think Todd, Todd Phillips is directing. But all he's right. a pretty hands on dude with all of his stuff. So, you know, I, I, it's not like he takes a backseat to any of this at all. Right. So, uh, you know, he'll be involved. And that guy's always doing something, man, something crazy mm. and cool. True. Uh, I'm a big fan of B Coops. I'd like, I'd like to oh, see this shake out, but whatever. I'm, I, I am as well. I'm a newly, uh, I'm new. To yeah, being yeah, a you're, huge, new, you're new to the B Coops yeah, world. Yeah, I was definitely against him for a, li- a very long time. Yeah. Just put on some makeup if you're playing Elephant Man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Just put a, put a ma- get a mask. Made. Oh, I love it. Who do we think we are, James? Uh, we're, a, we're a show with sponsors. That's who we are. We got to get to them. Talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Blammo, 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 blammo. Sleep so hat? good it's scary. Yeah, uh, we, got, we get hats from Ghostbed too, which is They're awesome. nice. Uh, the cups arrived at the house today. Yep. Um, we got a phone call saying, hey, got a little package for you from Ghostbed. I'm like, awesome. Um, and as always, look, they're giving you the best deals on the planet, on mattresses, pillows. Every, every month they give away something for free. Uh, this month it's the, it's the cover, the cooling cover that goes over mm, the mattress. And it's also a protector, yes. so doubles. And it's, it's, it's also waterproof, so... You know what that Have means? Have some fun. Yeah. Lube it up. Lube it up. Throw a little water on the bed. Throw a slip and slide on there. Do it. See what happens. Uh, and as always at Ghostbed, 36 month, no interest, pay as you go program, best in the biz. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get the deals. Uh, military first responders, always 15% off forever. Regular humans, they get a shit ton of deals on there. Um, for mattresses and all that stuff. Uh, the, the best. We love them. Uh, they're our new chief sponsor. Uh, next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Shabloinkers. Uh Strikeforce. Look at this. We got to fill up the desk here. We got, we got new studios, uh, new shit. I got nothing on the desk but some Strikeforce. <laughs> so if that tells you where I'm at in this life, I'm just trying to stay awake. <laughs> Strikeforceenergy.com is the one that's doing it. Four amazing flavors. Original, orange, grape, lemon. And uh, I love the Ridge too, you know? The Ridge is the fave. OG. OG. OG, homies. Grape uh, is. Grape is my, my end all be all probably. And then if you're doing like a fizzy, uh, fizzy vodka drink. Yeah. Uh, the lemon is very good. Get wet, get hard. That's what I always do say. Do it right and do, do it, it tight. Do it tight. Do it all night. Uh, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. They ship everywhere in the entire world. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off at StrikeForceEnergy.com. Next up, we got StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you rock it? <laughs> Do you rock it? <laughs> oh, fuck my cock. I do like it. Oh, I do like I it. I don't. I don't appreciate that. Well, we talked to, on the last episode about Barbara Bush. Bush. Bush on Bush. Bush on Bush. Again, pregnant woman in this world. Straightrazors.com is the preferred the bush of a bush yeah razor for uh a pregnant women everywhere no that's a demo we're trying to really tackle yeah go after. Gosh, the pregnant women yeah right they're they're often overlooked uh <laughs> if you're a dude you need to go to straightrazors.com. every look for a man in this life that you need facially they've got you covered what are you even talking about sometimes? What, Jesse? Everything you need to groom, whatever you need to groom, Every whether look that's you, you have taint, facially. Uh, balls, yeah, that toes. Too. That too. You need to shave up the toes, yeah. the face. Some Yuck. people do. I'm talking about- You need to smell good. You need to wash your hair. You need to put wax in the beard, in the hair. I mean, they have every single thing for you not to be a dirt bag. Um, and yeah. Father's, Day Father's Day is on. I mean, you should order now. Yeah, you order gotta order now. now. Go to get Father's Day. Get the nicest stuff for your dad. When he opens it up, it's gonna be. Hey, father. Yep. 
Hey, son, what'd you get me? Oh, You're back man. in the will. Yeah, you're an awesome son. It's a smolder out to shave. You got me a kit. You got me a shaving kit from straightrazors.com. Uh, type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off there. Um, and then the, the new book's coming out. Matt Best, thank you countdown. for my service. Is on sale now, available for pre-order. And he's signing them. He's signing all of them. So... Uh, that's going to be fucking rad. So if you get it now, get the hardback right now. It'll be signed when it shows up to your door here uh, in a few weeks. Looking forward to that. What's Dude, the book's fucking hilarious. If you like my other shit, you'll love this. Um, big story today, Jabes. What? Big story today. What? NASA is going to let tourists visit the International Space Station okay. from 2020. Here's the problem. One just tiny, tiny problem. Please. Uh, the trip's going to cost you $40 million. To just visit what? 50 in American, 40 in, in uh, Britain, I guess. To visit what? To visit the space station in, in space. Oh, okay, cool. You know that space lab that's only been accessible to like, you know, astronauts and like it, people who weld, they always show those like welding videos that they're welding something out there. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not into space, but yeah. So what it means is private companies, I know, but private companies are allowing you to be private astronauts now. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and you could go up for 30 days. <laughs> 50 million for 30 days in space. That's crazy, and why would you ever do it? So it says it can accommodate two short-duration private astronaut missions per year. Um, that's why the, these are going to be uh, $50 million. And I'm sure they have to train you, so that's where a lot of it goes. Yeah, but the training is like, do you really need that? It's I just kind of like you're floating around, you're eating ice cream, you know, Neapolitan astronaut ice cream. That's kind of it. I'm no, I'm no scientist, uh, at, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I've flown before um, uh, in a plane, so I feel sure. pretty confident about everything I just said. Right. So if you're going to space, uh, that's it. Probably, a, it's probably like a uh, when you go on a cruise ship, you know, and for like 45 minutes, they tell you like how to evacuate and get on the small boats in case the thing sinks or whatever. Yeah. Probably the same course for being an astronaut. Insurance. I mean, I think I think your money is going to go to a lot of the extra stuff. Yeah, you just show up. Um, they put you in a waitlist thing, kind of mm -hmm. like Space Camp, the classic '80s movie Space Camp, and sure. uh, you fly around, eat the ice cream, and then boom, you're a, you're an astronaut, and you can live up there for thirty days and just kind of chill out. So that's pretty cool. I will say this, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, Ross, that's fucking ridiculous. No one's gonna pay for that. I I don't believe that, man. I think with these motherfuckers who just bought that. Uh, balloon dog or whatever it was the the space robot talk? dog we talked about it. it was the most expensive art ever built and it was oh, by jeff oh. koontz yeah you know? yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah so if someone can buy that sure and there why will wouldn't you want to go to space for 30 days of course and and people will do it um, i think it's just going to be a bunch of rich like saudi princes and shit yeah totally or like lance bass yeah i mean look jay-z just became the first billionaire um in hip-hop right right uh, last week forbes Declared him the very first billionaire. Isn't that crazy? It is really crazy. Uh, but if you're Jay Z, right? What's fifty million to go to space for thirty days? That's kind of the ultimate frontier. It's a lot of your money, though. The final frontier. Yeah. Yeah, but is it <sighs> fifty million? You're a billionaire. How many million is in a billion? It's a thousand. Oh, I thought it was a hundred. No, 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 no. A hundred goes up to. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. So, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. a thousand <laughs> hundred million. Well, a hundred million. A thousand million. million. A hundred million. It's ten hundred millions, okay? So, <laughs> for 50, you can pretty much just call it a day and go to space and uh, live sure. there for 30 days. Sure. Um. <laughs> so, that's not a big m lot of your money. No, you again, <laughs> you have zero interest in doing this. I do. I think it'd be fucking rad. Why? Um, Why? What are you going to do? Oh, wait, I was incorrect here. It says a large bank balance won't be enough either. 
you'll have to pass NASA's rigorous health checks and training procedures. So what, dude? <laughs> 45 minutes. That's all that is. I think they're doing that to, to scare you. Well, they're going to they're gonna tell you that they're doing that to be like, here's what your money's going to, <laughs> right? The, the rigorous training. Imagine Jay-Z in rigorous training, the underwater thing, like the whole, right? Are you going underwater for the space thing? Probably not. Yeah, you do. Probably That's not. part of the training. Yeah, you do. You go in that thing, the like thing underwater. Oh boy. I look, I'd love to do it, but you know, that's off the table right now. Because? Uh, just the whole space thing, obviously, you know? Okay. So money being no object. Yeah. 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 It's just, if, look, if I win the mega millions tonight though, okay. you know, it's up to five thirty, So it's over a half a billion dollars. And so you said it's a thousand no, million, 50, but a thousand millions in a billion, in a right? Billion, they, yes. Yeah. A thousand million. So I'll put up. <laughs> okay. So let me, let me break this down tonight. Right. So hypothetical, we win the, we win the lottery tonight or when I'm sorry, we should probably yeah, say yeah, when, yeah. We right? play enough with at five thirty. your take home after a lump sum pay, you're probably looking at three thirty, three fifty, somewhere in there. Okay. So if we had three, let's just call it three fifty, right? Sure. To be dicks, right. just to be a couple of dicks smashing against each other. Sure. Um, if you're knocking off fifty from three fifty, that means we're still left with three hundred million. It's a two man sitch. So that means you and I could go. Am I allowed to take you to space? Will you be my space lady if we win the Mega Millions tonight? <laughs> 30 days I don't want to <laughs> not only do I not have any interest now when you say it that way and it feels like it could be maybe real <laughs> I I like how you feel like it could be real but like you broke Mega down you put tonight. you put a scenario on the table yeah. that I can you know follow to the point of now I'm thinking of driving there doing the training and getting up I couldn't even do the diver training, you know, to be a d to get your diving certificate. Yeah. So you're out. You're out of the. I don't want to. All right. I don't want to. It kind of makes me love you less. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> Add it to the list. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If something happens every day that makes you love me less. Why won't you be my space lady? That's all I'm, <laughs> that's all I'm asking. You just want to. Hey, you can call me that all day long. Yeah, I can call you that, but I know okay. you're not gonna be by my side. You know, through this. this well, whole we journey. haven't even gotten to the point where if you're allowed to go to space, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm fucking going to space, man. If I win the lottery, if I win Challenger. the lottery tonight, Challenger. Yeah, I'm. I'm Challenger. going. Ah, I, I'm not. Af I'm not Kids afraid of home. that. Challenger. Kids no, at home. I'm not afraid Wife. of that. I need to. I need to check on the world with my own peepers. You know, I need to go up there. The big guy needs to go up there. Give the whole world a look. See, want to want to check on a few things up there. Okay. So. We'll see. You know, I want to see my house from up there. That's uh, cool. There's a couple shingles that I'm worried about on the roof mm -hmm. that I don't feel like I can put an honest judgment on until I can go up to space and get my, my eye holes on that, you know? Mm -hmm. Challenger. Uh, <laughs> Challenger. Kids at home. So I just, I'd like a couple, and you know, you can, you can, but I'd like a hundred missions to have taken place before you are you go up there to where it's like plane travel okay how old will you be not sure but i think i i, I don't want you on Probably any kind a of maiden, summers i don't want you don't on any kind of maiden voyage if you know what i'm saying yeah 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 yeah. you don't want me to be the first i i, I understand that okay and um, i will not go at all i will go second i remember when they first did something to this effect where they shot you up into space and you got to go up for i think it was three hours or something and then you went back down it was some russian billionaire who ended up doing it he was fine like he came back down and was fucking amped right um you know i think he just laid down on the tarmac and just started jacking off afterwards like because that's your first like when you land and touch the uh -huh. ground i in all the space training that i've read on that's what everybody does when they come back buzz aldrin 
uh, Neil Armstrong, all of them did that same thing. So seems safe enough to me mm-hmm. uh, when I saw it. But uh, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna press you too hard anymore. You don't want to be my lady of space, my space lady. Space so. lady. Uh, you know, moving on. I guess I I can tell you this: if we end up do getting divorced, that's gonna be in there as part of the reasoning. Oh yeah. Refuse to be my space lady. Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. isn't there, there's things you put on there of like reason for separation, right? Refusal of my space ladies going that's going in that box so what would be another one um it's the some of the the the, the side glances you give me i don't really like uh-huh um she's giving me a lot of grounds. nasty it's grounds s- s- yeah lasting a lot of nasty side glances of like uh-huh like are you picking that plate up are you putting it in the sink like some of those nasty glances where i'm just like ugh, save it i thought this was supposed to be funny you're being real. No, 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 not at all. Not at all, Jesse. Is there well, just... you know why I give you the side glances? <laughs> if you want to get serious, I thought we were just putting Space Lady and then something else funny. <laughs> because you literally finish your food, your drink, your whatever it may be, and just push away from the table and walk away. I, it, it is only very recently <laughs> that those side glances have been interpreted in the way that they're supposed to, and a plate gets picked up and put into the sink. I think uh, marriage Like is, a child. I, like a child. I think, I'm done. <laughs> Bye. I've got all. other stuff to do. <laughs> and that is what it's like. But I thought this no. was a fun little space talk, no. and now it's fucking getting real. <laughs> So yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. Here's the thing. It's not like a child at all. It's very medieval times. ish like uh, the king is done eating and I back away from because I have a I eat on a throne, got, like a nice little throne that I've set up and I back away and, um, you know, my fill up, fill up my goblets, mm-hmm. lady. That's it's very much like that. Not mm. it's not malicious. It's just I kind of want things to go back to the way they used to be, you know? Uh, before you started voting all over the place. Driving. Jeez. That driving um, and wearing shoes in the kitchen. Like, come on, man. Come on. You know better than that. Here's something I know better than, though. Uh, that fucking robo dog we were talking about. Over the Boston Dynamics. Mm-hmm. That robo dog. Mm-hmm. You can buy those fuckers now, too. What do you mean? Buy the fucking robo dog from... Uh, Oh, uh, from from black, Dark Mirror. Yeah. Is black it Black Mirror? Mirror? Dark? I got it every Mirror. time. I've never gotten that right. Black never Mirror. Never gotten that right. You can buy those dogs now. Oh, well, why would you want to? I don't know. I don't know. So it's about to go on sale. And holy shit. Um, I know your computer doesn't work. So I'm going to slide it. Oh, I know. So that's the, the Robo Dog is now for sale. And I don't really know. God, they what look you're exactly hoping to do with that. Like the fucking dogs Black Mirror and, and, yes, dogs. 100%. Oh. Watch the video on YouTube if you have not seen what these look like. They are fucking frightening, and now they're going to sell them. So uh, it says the company is aiming to start churning out a thousand of these fucking things a year. Uh, good luck, society. That? Yeah, a that thousand. Many? Imagine a thousand of those just trolling the streets That's or crazy. in your neighborhood. What do you put a leash on that fucking thing? What do you do with that? What do you do with that? You control it somehow with either your voice or a, I don't know. Do you clap at it? I don't know. Because the the front of it looks like a, a, like the head of it. Mm -hmm. If you want to call it that or the ass of it, I don't, no, we'll go with head. I think Um, looks like a giant USB port. When you're sleeping, what do you think? That thing's not going to plug itself into your computer and take over your life. I'm, Come on, man. I don't know. Yep. I hope, I hope, Jesse, that you like being a pet for, for someone else because that's what's going to happen. Right. They're going to be telling us what to do here in about five years. Five years, you think? I think, I think something really fucked up is going to happen in the next five years with AI. Okay. I think that's Absolutely. fair, actually. Something, at least something fucked up will happen, yeah. Have you seen those uh, commercials for Google? 
We're doing new experiences and everything with AI. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing what we're able to do. Right. Beers, craft beers, whatever. They're showing you all the happy shit you can do with AI. Mm -hmm. Instead, what they really should be showing you is uh, a a human inside of a dog crate, a cage, um, and then the robo dog just feeding you once or twice throughout the day just because you're going to be their amusement. And that's what they should be showing you on these goddamn commercials. Right. Uh, Oh, hey. Uh, does your human look hungry or thirsty? Great. Here's how you can really feed them with AI to make sure they stay alive and do what you want them to because it's going to be reversed. The Boston Dynamics dogs are going to own us, um, you know, and it's going to be fucked. You see how fast those things can go upstairs? Oh, dude, it's insane. And how, how, how high they can jump? They are, how strong yeah. they are? What are you going to do with that? If it goes bad, go to the you're store dead. right now after reading this. Go to the store right now. I don't even care if you're a gun person. Buy a shotgun and multiple rounds because you're going to have to blow these fucking things away from your, from your streets, from your beds. Just think about it, dude. You buy this robo dog. That's the biggest thing when you have a dog, right? Yeah. The dog jumps up in the bed and sleeps with you. What are you going to do with this fucking thing? <laughs> yeah. Just watch the Black Mirror thing. That's all I'm going to say. Watch that first and then watch this Boston Dynamics video on... on if that doesn't scare the shit out of you, then... A thousand a year they're going to be selling. Because, you know, look, look, but here's what I will say is the positive part of this, uh, right? Is I think the very first ones will go to like Japan, probably. Okay. You know, the Japanese love technology. Yeah. They love it. They're going to have robo dog like cafes and shit where it's mm-hmm. like, oh. Hap- yappy ha- hour. Yeah. Yappy hour with your robo dog. <laughs> and you can come on in and have some sake and fucking kick back and relax so i think japan will be taken over first right okay and then uh probably like elon musk he'll probably have one of these fucking things like a bunch of weird rich silicon valley sure. people so i think they're gonna start in california and then migrate east obviously okay uh so we got i mean we have time but not that much right what do you want to do tonight i wanted to take you to see rocket man you said no uh so now after reading this robo dog thing you can do whatever you want what do you want to do tonight james why after it's reading Friday night because we're gonna get taken over oh yeah. okay but why did I say no to the movie uh so it's a rocket man tonight yeah like a movie just a movie um you said you wanted to, to connect and and not watch a screen or watch a thing or whatever right yeah and I get all that I understand it I I, I told you like because you and I are starting to get in the habit more of just leaving phones yeah. Out, out of situations where it's just like, all right, great. For at least a dinner or something, because starting this company and everything, like you are literally in front of a computer screen or a phone, both of us, mm-hmm. everyone, or a TV with the kids or whatever, where your, your attention is fractured always, right? In right. some direction. So at least for an hour, you know? Yeah. Sit somewhere. Without a distraction, I think you have to do it. Yeah, yeah, have I'm, to. I'm, I'm down. Problem is, you go to so any bar or restaurant you go to, there's, <laughs> there's gonna screens. be something. There's some, some kind of TV, there. yeah, yeah. yeah. Except for, I think, at the Shuck and Shack, right? No, it's a fucking bar with uh, TVs. They get sports is popping off. We get uh, it's the Warriors game tonight. Right, that's at nine. So I think we can get some kind of food in our bellies food in our belly conversation eye contact all right sure uninterrupted 10 minutes of reverse cowboy conversation that isn't about work or kids maybe maybe i'm gonna try i mean inevitably it'll go back to both of those things sure but you try right yeah you give Uh, it a go you give it a gozy and then probably meet up with uh dan and his bruiser yeah, we'll see. His freight train. Yeah. <laughs> his fucking... His dually. We've all got those buddies who just have these bang pieces where you're just like, oh, man, I love you. And uh, congratulations. You know, I'm proud of anyone putting their dick inside of something at night. Sure. But I'm not, I don't necessarily want to hang out with them and pretend that I care. You know, if it's a wife or like a serious girlfriend, great. Let's have sure. a nice, let's share a nice meal together. If it's a fucking bang piece, uh, come on, dude. If it's a little tan piece, dog. Well, now, part of that sometimes for us, it, a little bit of jealousy comes in. When people are so free. Oh, to do, yeah, to do, oh, to do whatever to they want. Oh, to just fly a gal in. 
<laughs> send her home when you want. You know what I mean? It's like part of us sometimes what comes up is a is a jealousy, is a wondering if who which one of us is doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't feel like us. Well, with this one I can say it's it's uh it's not Dan on this one. So uh, but it's with the my buddy. Freeness of it. it is, but it you know, it's look the liberty. Like like B Coops. For example, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever he's doing, but whatever Bradley Cooper's doing tonight, I'm jealous of that. You're jealous of that. I'm jealous of what my buddies are doing tonight. Like that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it's pure sure. insanity. Sure. So, uh, but what, whatever Bradley Cooper's doing tonight, like I'm, I'm trying to put myself there mentally of like, all right, fighting with his. No, they're girlfriend. they're done. So he's he's out. You know. Okay. So it's he... Friday. It's Oof. Friday night. Bradley Cooper on a Friday night, wherever he's at, it's probably New York or L.A. Right. If it's New York, I'm even more jealous. Oh, my God. Yeah. Fuck. Like if I start thinking about that, that too long, I'll blow my goddamn brains out. Uh, but if he's in L.A., it's nice. one of those. Th- I'm kidding. Nice. I'm kidding. Nice. But it's one of those things where it's like, oh, man, he's probably going to a nice dinner. Yep. Either uh, that or even if he's just going down the street to grab a drink by himself. Right. <laughs> Even if he's going for a stroll <laughs> around the block, I'm jealous of all of that as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Did I tell you the Clive Owen story of me walking in and he was having a drink by himself at this bar? Clive Owen. That is, a, I'm, that I'm, is a callback. I'm taking and it way I back. love. I know. You're Pim- taking what? Taking it way back. Taking it way back. I yeah. love a little Pimpy daddy dude. Clive. Yeah. yeah. Pimpy dude. And uh, I, I walked into this bar which was supposed to get popping off uh, later on in the evening, right? And uh, I had, I'd had a shit day. I was with, uh, I think it was a claim, Crawford. Um, we, just, we had a shitty day. I was just like, fuck this, man. Let's just go get rocked. And uh, we walked into this bar, just the three of us. It's Clive Owen just sitting there by himself drinking. And I was just like, he just seems so content. Right. With his drink and, and yeah. his life and everything that was going on at oh, that time. And I was like, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those moments where your buddy looks at you and is like, hey, should we go? Like, it's just the three of us in here. Should we go say something or do right. whatever? And uh, they're like, no, not going to do it. Just leave him. Yeah, just, just left leave him. leave him. Left him to, and it looked, like, it looked like he was drinking a scotch, you know, with one of those big cubes. And I remember thinking to myself, I was like, man, that's exactly what I pictured Clive Owen to drink. Uh, you know, you ever see yeah. people out and you're like, oh, fuck, that's ex- you're doing exactly what I thought you it would do. It looks like a liquor commercial yeah. just at the end of the bar. And you're like, oh, God. Yeah. Georgie Leahy was on uh, Drinking Bros podcast. A fantastic guest, one of her favorites. She's been on a couple of times. She told this crazy story about uh, G-Butts, Gerard Butler. Yeah. And how she kept this 10-year thing of running into Gerard Butler and... Like spilled a drink on him on accident at a party and like it just it never went away forever and like yeah anyways it was a funny story but like uh when i saw him like because i was i you see that he's kind of goofy and just kind of you know clive yeah no uh g butts oh yes right and i've seen him in real person in real life uh, in real person, a same, couple of times. Yeah. Same. I was saying at the he's same short. hotel as him in, in New York. He's not. He's not bad. He's probably. He's, he's good enough. Shorter than you think he he's would. He's good be, enough. But, yeah. but uh, hungover, blasted. Oof. Like yes. Uh, yes. Buffy, you know, and just. But as soon as he walked out the door, there was some paparazzi, whatever. He turned on the Clive. You know, I mean the uh, oh, the yeah. G butts. I always get those two motherfuckers confused. Yeah. Turned it on. It was just yeah, fucking yeah. a lot of thumbs up, a lot of winks, nods, all that shit, and I was like. That's exactly what I thought he was. It's a pro. Yeah, exactly That's what a I pro, thought he was. yeah. Because most everybody, you know, I've worked with a lot of people at this point, and I know they're, they're true shit, but, like, it's the people you don't know when you see out where you're like, I wonder what their whole fucking bag is, you know? Yeah. So. I'd rather not. A lot of the time, I'd rather not know, because it's usually very disappointing. Yeah, well, look, if anybody's out in the city tonight, whatever city Bradley Cooper's in, buy him a drink. Find him. Buy, buy him, him a drink. Buy him a drink, yeah. Let him know. But I have a feeling he might not be going out at all. I think he might be staying in. Tell at, me something, yeah, Brad. At uh, yeah. God's house for a little uh, consoling and then trying to figure out how to bring his character back to life so they can do a sequel. <laughs> it was the largest love story of all time, box office oh, wise. God, so. I would, that's not what I want. I want them to be together in real life, but I do not want a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> when they go back where it was just like he wasn't really hanging in the garage it was all a dream yeah because they don't really show it 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. That, there you go. Oh, wait a minute. Hey. <laughs> hey. Tell me something, Brad. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about this lady who, uh, who killed this fucking giraffe, too. Did you see that? It's everywhere on social media and all this Is shit. Is it recent? I yeah. know I see these she all killed, the time. You know, these people. I, dude, you want to guess what, what uh, race she is? I mean, white? Yeah. 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 He's got to be rich. It costs to, a lot rich of money to, to go do on. that. Yeah. yeah, to go kill giraffes mm-hmm. just to do it. Yeah. And uh, she, usually they, you know, they release a statement that says, hey, I'm sorry. That I realized the errand did my ways and, you know, mm-hmm. and send a check to Peter or whatever the fuck it is you do. Sure. Uh, she did not. She, uh, she just went right for the jugular and said, you know what? I ate the goddamn thing and it was delicious. That's a direct quote. It was delicious. I like it. Now, here's the thing. Like when I'm, because uh, initially I felt bad for the giraffe, right? Because she took this picture with a dead giraffe behind her. Mm-hmm. And it's, I mean, it's a fucking huge giraffe, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but now looking, looking at all this, if a rich white woman says, hey, this giraffe meat was delicious. Now I'm thinking I got to get me some. <laughs> I gotta have a little now taste. You gotta try it. I gotta have a little well, G blood in my mouth. What's always their um, explanation, right? That uh, the money that they use to be able to, the money that they spend to be able to do that goes to conservation efforts. So they're actually helping, mm. right? So that's so that's what Some they usually say, that. say. No, that's what the everyone says is that we don't understand actually that the money that they these thousands of dollars that these rich people have to pay right. to be able to go and shoot all these, you know, large game actually goes to conservation efforts. So again, so they say, I, so I would they say, really like to see I where know, this money is going. Believe me. I know. I'm just saying that you have the these, argument for everything. I, I've seen the docs and you see them I and mean, they're, they're with these dirty ass poachers that look like, you know, the fucking four dudes in captain Phillips movie. You know, I'm the captain now and you're just sure. like, what? You're just chewing cot saying, oh, no, yeah. all the money goes to some preservation Yeah, exactly, society. exactly, exactly. I don't really no, I hear you. believe that. Like, I'd, l- I'd love to see what the end game is for that, uh, that whole sitch. For your hair? I know. What is the end game for Oh, you, for this, for the summer <laughs> swayze. Yeah, this is really. Now, how long are we well, the summer, going? I'm going to ask you. Okay, the so summer. we're going to. We're going to grow it. So we get, we get a million messages. Sorry if we can't respond to all of them. We try to, but uh, there was one in particular that said, because I, I posted that Zima and Jolly's video that I did okay. on my Instagram. Okay. And they were like, man, you've put out a fucking banger every summer for years, oh, right? Oh, shit, yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I, dude, even I forgot how much, how much songs I put out. And all, usually all this shit ends up going viral. Uh, I really haven't had a miss in that world if I'm going to. Not shake my own dong here, but um, they said, hey, I want another summer anthem. And is it going to be the summer of Swayze? And I was like, oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. I wasn't planning on doing another song um, just because, look, we're in the new studio, obviously. And uh, we're doing seven shows a week between this and Drinking Bros. And I'm like, how do I fit in one more thing? But then again, I would feel bad if sure. we didn't capture this all on video and do and a not giving song about it. The people what they want, right? So I will say this to whoever wrote in and said that I'll 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 give it a look, see over the weekend, see if I can find any hot beats, because um, I know it. I've got an ear for it. Um, I'm like a like a young Jimmy Iovine. Okay, Jimmy Iovine. Yeah. I, I can hear beats, and that's why all these are hit. It's not just my brilliance, but it's also the music, you know? Uh-huh. And you got to let that take you. And if we learn anything from Gloria Stefan, it's that you've got to let the music take, take you. Take control, yeah. Control you. Take um, control, take control of, you. of you. Yep. 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 <laughs> all of that. And you really need that in your life. Let it let it live with you. Let it get in your bed like a like a Boston Dynamics dog, like a Robo dog. Sure. And uh, that's what the music does. Mm-hmm. Um, and I look, I've realized my gifts from an early age. And uh, if music is what people need to heal right now, perhaps I will give this a look see over the weekend. Thoughts, James? Could you? 
<laughs> Here's my thing. We now have people on staff, talented, very talented, gifted, gifted people. Very that gifted, yeah. Can take over the burden that is usually mine. Oh, of editing these videos, yeah. <laughs> that, so I will say this, and that's true for the audience. Um, so that could be fun. music video edits are a motherfucker. Like, they're so hard. And, I, I, like, one of the, one of the reasons the, uh, of many that, you know, Matt Best is one of my best friends is because he, he makes a lot of music videos, too. All we do is commiserate of how how much it sucks in the edit of those fucking songs afterwards. Writing them recording them all that stuff is a blast um the the pussy whistle song if you mm -hmm. want you know that exploded and got what six or seven million views or whatever it was uh that was our last song go and look at we did a we posted a video of the behind the scenes and making it and you know everybody loved it and it blew up and everybody's like god it seems like you guys are having the best time and it's amazing or whatever yes it is recording it and doing all that crazy shit is a blast the editing of that music video sucks and it is tedious and long you've i think you've done what the last three yeah did you do the red lobster edit too yeah i did the first pass yeah yeah, yeah. that's right you did the assembly and all that mm -hmm. shit you and i have never gotten more close to a divorce than the edits on those three videos because it is just it's so time consuming you hate me i hate you and it's it's <laughs> wait, awful wait a minute it's awful. Um, and Wait, I, you hate me? I'm just supposed to hate you. No, no, I hate no. you. Too. It's, just like, it's just a blanket hate. Yeah. yeah. Why and can't then it you, spikes. You figure out on a multi clip. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not, it's not a multi clip. That's why. Why don't you know what multi cam editing is? See? Divorce. And hatred. No, happens. so that's 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 the real reason, by the way, because that I get I get that a lot of like, dude, why don't you just put out a full album and I would love to if, if I did not have to shoot the videos. So, But now, you know, I will say now having said that and thinking about now having like a studio and again with very talented, awesome people. Yeah. It may be a nice, fun thing. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think so. Jamie's here. Uh, Jamie Henson. You shot the Zima and Jollies video because I just posted it and, I, and I, I saw your name at the bottom as DP and I was like, it's right. You were there for that. Uh, that looked great. I enjoy that. So you're here. Uh, Alec, how, how, you're, you're the other new guy here. What's the, what, what's your level of green screen work and all that other shit? Um, I've done some work with green screen, more like a white background. Right. Um, okay. So you, he said he's done some work with a green screen in a, in a, in a white. Look, white anything's board, so. more than me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Anyone, everyone here. Sounds like what he just more. said is he could do the entire video on his own. So that's, looks, that's we what we're hearing. It. Okay, we're hearing. great. So <laughs> let's get to work. And it's a pimp game too, guys. Nobody gets paid. Pimp game. If you're not down for the cause. No, just joking. Because <laughs> that's how it's been for me. I'll peruse. Uh, well, you Now you've listen, received. I get paid in food. Yeah, and water. <laughs> I keep you in my cage, you know? Um, right now, I'm your master. I'm your robo dog. Sure. But, uh, On the rocks. I'll, I'll look, I'll, I'll peruse the catalog and look at some beats this weekend. I enjoy it. I, I, dude, I enjoy recording those, and they're fucking awesome. Um, but uh, God damn, those edits are a bitch. Uh, breaking news, by the way. Uh, Alec Baldwin says he's done playing Donald Trump on SNL. I'm surprised by that. I wonder why. He always seemed way more conservative than he's. No, no, he's super liberal. I know, but the, I, it's very strange to me. Anyway. So, I, because I, like just hearing this out loud for the first time, uh, I, I lean towards two schools of thought on this, right? Because there's been a bunch of people. That have come out and said, look, if you stop giving Trump press, right? Yep. Then that's it. Because that's what he wants for all this shit in the news cycle and everything else. Uh, Alec Baldwin himself, you know, has, has played Trump or whatever. And people, people hate it because it's, it's you know, it, it, nasty kind of, you know. It doesn't have the fun playfulness of like Will Ferrell playing mm -hmm. George yeah, Bush yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. shit. It's so. actually like a serious... Yeah. Dig, yeah. You're just like, Jesus Christ, you, yeah. you really hate this human. Yeah. Uh, that could be part of all of this where it's just like, all right, 
do I want to be known for this and keep doing this or, or how's that going to shake out? So I don't know. What I do know is this. I mean, SNL, you're getting into SNL's biggest years ratings wise are always in election seasons. So yeah, you're coming up on it. The problem is, you know, this fall again, when we said this numerous times, it's 24 Democrats versus a guy who's doesn't have any competition. So it, it's going to be hard harder to squeeze in a Trump sketch that's topical because the topical shit that'll more than likely be going on this fall and into primaries next year, all the way up through July, which is the end of the SNL season. Um, SNL season usually dips out at the end of May. It's going to mostly be Democrat shit. So maybe that had part of the reason to do with it where, you know, how much can you squeeze Trump into these sketches for the next year? Yeah. Now 2020, it'll be a different story because it'll be running against somebody. And that's going to be contentious and you're going to need. Yes. I could see. So again, thinking this out loud, I could see him popping back in for 2020 when it means something. I don't know what it's going to mean here for the next SNL season. Yeah. And I think, well, from what I'm hearing from also from a lot of comedians and everything is just like, it is the hackiest thing you can do at this point it is. to make it's true. fun of Trump. So everyone's kind of, backing off from it in that sense yeah um because it's just i mean and, and I, I like i remember you know when i was doing stand up to the two hackiest impressions were uh, jack nicholson and right. christopher so, walken so now so I, I understand yeah trump you're like come on man yeah so I, if anybody's like doing like a trump either impression or joke it's just sort of thought of at huge. this point yeah as yeah. hacky and easy and dumb yeah, 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 and yeah. So uh, that may be part of it where he's just like, he has enough comedian friends that are like, hey, bro, it's kind of <laughs> like, like Jerry Seinfeld's his, one hey, of his best friends. I think it's time we got to move on. I think it's time we got to move on. It's a little bit hacky at this point. Let's. Uh, yeah. Was that a Leno or was that a, what, I, what, what came oh, out of my mouth? You there? Kind of were a, Leno, yeah. a cross between the two. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. What's yeah. Down with peanuts? It's kind of a <laughs> Leno, kind of a Seinfeldish. I like to meld those two together. Right, it's not a good one of either. Do you know what I mean? So, whatever it was. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's that not was a... off the cuff, James. <laughs> was um, it? Yeah. Who knew? Thought thought you worked on it for years. Yeah, never did a Seinfeld. Never did a Seinfeld. Or, That's uh, also hacky at this point. What's the deal? You know what's weird is uh, there was a co- there was another comedian on uh, Jonathan Kite on. We've got an interview with oh, him. Oh, he's funny. He's great. Um, he's on in a couple of weeks on Drinking Bros, and we he do- he does a t- shit ton of impressions. Yeah, but like obscure ones, right? Well, now, yeah, but he used to do like your mainstream dudes oh, okay, or whatever, okay, okay. and and he said something interesting where it was just like you know once one comedian does it and then they're known for it kind of going after that yourself like you can't recapture what that one person yeah. did and it's true and like for me i think i think it was jimmy fallon for for uh seinfeld yes once yeah video, yeah uh, and for some reason everyone's been doing it but for some reason he, he locked into yeah, yeah, something yeah. Yeah. yeah uh i guess that's true of a couple things right so because when I was up for SNL, they sent me a bunch of those tapes. And right. he did that in his audition, Jimmy Fallon did. It was so good at the time. I was like, oh, man. This, yeah. No wonder he crushed. He did a ton of impressions in his tape, man. It, he's rad. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. Uh, he, did, he did a Chris Rock that was the greatest thing of all time. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to think of someone else that's sort of known for an impression. Um, and I guess yeah. So I, I we talked about Jonathan Guy with this was we, uh, like Kevin Pollack. For whatever reason, Kevin Pollack to me was the first one to do a walk in, and him and like uh, yeah, Jay Moore. Yes, I remember the two of them, those guys doing it, and then everybody was doing Christopher Walken after that. Yes. Um. So yeah, there was I, a guy on uh, Saturday Night Live back in the day, Daryl Hammond. Daryl Hammond's the very the, one of the very best cast very members of best. all time on SNL. Um, um and beautiful impression he he's the first trump like he did trump he did trump but I, he did something else that was spot on too it's like a clinton or something where clinton, you just Bill like clinton. can't yeah. touch it 100 percent. um i don't know how he well was, known yeah, he's he, known for it but he, oh really yeah, well yeah, yeah. he's the dude for clinton yeah. and like he'll he'll still pop in and do it occasionally which is it's great um yeah yeah but but he was right like you remember these guys for this and i look 
to Alec Baldwin's credit, I'll remember Alec Baldwin doing Trump, you know? Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Just because it was so weird to be doing it. Do you know what I mean? As well as he was good, but it was just such a thing of like, Alec Baldwin, huh? Yeah. Going on SNL every Saturday every for this. Every Saturday for that. Wow. His Tony okay. Bennett was legendary. Alec, I think he's hilarious on Saturday Night Live when he's doing like other stuff and he's really good. He has some of the best, like most iconic skits. He's been on over five yeah, times. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I, like he's been on a million times. Yeah. So uh, he's really, really good on SNL. It's yeah, just he's the good. Trump sort of, I hope he understands, kind of made him. I, I, I think so. Different. I think so. Be, be looked at differently. Um, uh, the other thing I, I want to I want to chat about here is uh, scientists are seeking out to limit human endurance, which I don't understand it. What do you mean? We're building robots and shit, right? Um, why do we want to limit human endurance where it's just like with, with all the synthetic drugs and everything you can possibly take? Why are they limiting? Because I, I, I think with the way it's going and we've talked about this before with like HGH and everything, mm -hmm. you can you can become a superhuman. I'm against this, by the way. And this is in Yahoo, Yahoo News today because I, I always peruse Yahoo. But uh, I'm against it simply for the fact that we're going to have to fight the fucking robots anyway. So Right, so we, might as well make ourselves We might as well human. make ourselves superhuman yeah. so I can punch a robot. If I could punch a robot dog and knock it out. You'd like feel better about I feel walking alive through. again yeah. inside. Yeah. I can tell you that much. Mm -hmm. But the only way I'm going to be able to do that is hardcore mother squeezing steroids yep. i need that juice i need to become a fucking juice monkey mm -hmm. a juice head mm -hmm. and i got to prepare for for what's going down uh the examples they're using in this article are these people who are running these ultra marathons okay through like death valley and shit yeah man that shit is no 135 miles these people yeah. are running for these ultra marathons mm -hmm. 135 miles i mean that's crazy it is crazy that's what so 26 point Three or two or it's whatever it is. It's a marathon a day. It's a marathon. So, mm -hmm. well, I mean, that's these people are running it in what under four or three or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. you're kind of you're kind of squeezing what five in a it's five marathons, man. Back to back, five marathons. Could you do it, James? Well, clearly I could because people do it. And there's one girl. She was on Rogan or whatever, and she um. Did the Moab thing or whatever. This is what I, like, yeah, they're showing yeah. this guy running through the desert of like Death Valley. Yeah, and she's like, I didn't even really train that much for it. It was mental. And that's what really? I've always said, yeah. Oof. If you just keep your body going. And I mean, you know, you have to overcome blisters and bullshit and peeing all over yourself and like weird shit like that. Yeah. But mentally, I do believe that I could do it. <sighs> 135 miles there's no way there's just no way because i think i would have to go to the bathroom at some point you do. i'm not a big fan of shitting on myself and then just kind of walking it off you do you can go and you can stop and go do that. i don't think you can i think you gotta, you gotta keep going to keep no, up that pace you, you sleep and stuff. no I, I think you you probably have to shit yourself and that's mandatory oh it's probably a mandatory feature is that, do, is that are you in reading yahoo? that or, no oh, it's, it's not yahoo just, okay there there look in Every article you read, news-wise, there's things they don't want to tell you. Uh -huh. So I can read between the lines here, and uh, I, I understand sure, that, sure. They probably that you're want not you to, allowed to stop. This nope. fucking ridiculous. They want you you're to piss and shit yourself, and then you know they'll they'll hand out water or whatever. But I think you got to keep going. You got to keep going. And in that sitch, you know, do you go uh, closed up shorts? Or do you go, you know, mm -hmm. oh, and really open loose. a real flowy, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> a real flowy short. Maybe just cut the, the, the ass out of the back of your Maybe shorts. Maybe you're all in skirts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just do the whole thing like <laughs> Funnel. that. Yep. Pair of spandex and, mm -hmm. you know, you, you yank those down yep. uh, behind the cheeks and then just whoever's behind you, good luck. I, I will say this gives you a lot of incentive to be the front runner in that race, doesn't it? Stupid, dude. Dookie trails. Um, but it could help. you do it? No. No. Could you that's nope. not what you that's not what you were asking. Could I do it? Yes. <laughs> End of conversation. Can you run ten miles? No. no. Can I? Yes. 
You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I can do 10. Look, I think that I could do a marathon. Mm -hmm. It would just be brutal. Like You're allowed to stop to go to the bathroom, by the not way. Not that. Okay. Not, not that. So like, <laughs> please, I, don't, I've, please don't do this whole scenario in a... A marathon, there's, <laughs> there's porta-potties and things like that. These motherfuckers are running through the death. Like, I'm looking at the picture of this guy, this... Looks like an Indian or a Mexican God, the dude. The stink. What, the stink at the oh. shrimp and grits party at the end. I is... can smell this guy through my computer screen. and <laughs> The stink of everybody rolling through after. Yeah. It's a fucking scratch and sniff here on this computer because this sure. guy. Oh, boy. And I, I bet it. I don't know. Taquitos or something. I don't know what you eat before the, the night of a race. <laughs> <laughs> taquitos is not something yeah. I've heard. That's. I haven't thought about a taquito in a yeah. really long <laughs> time. I used to love a taquito. So uh, just, well. just, looking, <laughs> just looking at the pic here. Again, I can scratch and sniff this fucker. And he, all of these, these scents are now ingrained in me right now. Scents is the strongest smell we have, people. Um, looking at this guy on this 135-mile ultra marathon journey, I can smell every single inch of his body, and it looks like hell on earth. Taquitos. Hell on earth. Yeah. Taquitos. Yeah. Okay. The, mar the, the classic uh, marathon taquito. Yeah. I Everyone. ran. Let's see. I, so I did five miles this morning, right? That sure. Was, that was an hour. On a treadmill, yeah. On a treadmill, correct, mm -hmm. right? So this, oh, God damn it, man. F I mean, divided by five on that, that's, that's like 30, 40 trips to the gym. Uh, I, I'm, I might come out and say this, right? Let's say you go in front of a judge, you did something fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm going to either give you six months in jail mm -hmm. or you have to run this 135 mile ultra marathon. Right, and finish. I might take that bid, homie. Yeah. I might go to jail for six yeah. months because this, all of this looks uncomfortable. Even the socks, there's some type of like compression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go up yeah. to his knees mm -hmm. and he's wearing span. So he is wearing spandex. Like, okay. Just down to his, uh, uh, right, right around thigh height. Okay. Right there. And, ugh, and a long sleeve t shirt. Imagine the chafing and all that. Well, they're, yeah. Awful. Yeah. What do you do? You put uh, band-aids over your nipples? Mm -hmm. or what do you, you put some gold bond lotion on, call mm -hmm. it a day? There's Damn only, it, a, there's, a, there's a, you know, there's special, that long sleeve probably is chafing proof and band-aids and powder and all, but, uh, you know, mile, mile 30, that's all, you can't re, no, can't re up. All. Not at all. And he's got a mining light on his head. Yeah, because like you, you have to run through the night. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> I, I think I'd just give you a jangle on my, my, my Apple watch at that point. And just say, hey, here's the mile mark can I'm you at. Imagine? Can you just come and run me over with your fucking car? Can you so imagine can old, uh, old Tenderfoot over here <laughs> fucking running through the night with the light? God, uh, not in a million years. Nope, not, not one single you second of this. can't step on a amazing. Lego. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's a white man next to... Again, man, I hate to like shit on my own race here. Um, but there's a white man next to this guy that's running. And he's apparently doing it. And he just looks so old and not... Should not be doing this under any circumstance. Mm -hmm. We're just like, man, stop doing dangerous shit. That, that white people meme of, of white people doing dangerous shit all the time to feel alive again. Yep. That is real, man. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is a dumb at your age. Um if you're at home, you can pull up a pic of this guy. It's so dumb at like 55 to just, oh, let's go out and do the 135 ultra marathon. Just like that guy we were talking about uh, who climbed that mountain. What's the highest? Was it Mount Everest? Yeah, well, all the people that are dying there. Yeah, and he fucking crapped out there. And it was just mm -hmm. like, he was living his dream. If your dream is to be dead, congratulations. You, you achieved that. But right. uh, if it's not, maybe pick up something else. They were you know? just rescued four more hikers from um, some other mountain. Uh, the, the best one was the 75-year-old woman mm -hmm. that they pulled up in that helicopter. And then it spun around light speed for, oh, my God. What did she do? 600 rotations. She got caught up in the rotor wash. And just that fucking oh. thing was spinning out of control mm -mm, to mm -mm, the nth mm -mm, level. Mm -mm, this, mm -mm. this video has gone viral she had a hiking 
accident in, in the middle of some desert, which look, man, if you're hiking in a desert, chances are you deserved it. Um, That's she's 75 think. years old. Mm -hmm. And then they pick her up in that, with that, those thing that's hanging down off the life the, back yeah. thing, the you know on the they put her on the thing and then you know pick her up and they're gonna you know life life transport her to the hospital. Uh -huh. What do you call those things? Life support. What are you probably the life support helicopters where they they put the yeah we get it we get exactly yeah there, we get right? exactly what you're saying. Well, it's just her, so there's nobody else with her. No, I know. Usually that's it's like a they... dude where you know because I, whenever I think about. So the, they drop it support. down. If they can't land, they drop this down. The person gets into it so that they can pull them out of this Correct. thing and land them where they can land. Correct. See, because when I always think about it, I always go back to Top Gun. Where sure. Where when, when Goose died in the sea, and then they had a guy that came down on the thing and then helped them up. And I always think of Cliffhanger, but yeah. Ah, eh, whatever. Either or. Um, but with that whole stitch, and then she started, you know, spinning around 60 oh, times, had to go God. to the hospital after that. Like, I don't know what's worse getting hurt hiking in the desert or, mm -hmm. or, or that because if you see it again it was like 600 rotations or something crazy i mean and it's at just light speed sure man mm. it's 75 years old mm, 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 i'm gonna mm. wager to say that's probably the last hike of her life yeah but you know those fucking crazy fucks they just cannot wait to get back in the saddle yeah, and be like you're right it didn't break my spirit i'm still fucking trying to kill myself yeah and it'll be like an so, e60 story mm -hmm. where it's just like tell me your bravery to get back out there and do what you love yeah again. frostbite i lost all my, my my both my legs and both my hands yeah. but here i am I lost my nose, uh, the lower portion of my back, mm -hmm. um, my shoulder, and, you know, two kneecaps, but here I am, yeah, still fighting. You can't break me. Yeah. No, you, you were broken because you did dumb shit that you wanted to do on your lesson, own. Nothing lesson else. Lesson not learned. Lesson not learned. If you're overseas fighting for the country, that's a different fucking story. Sure. These idiots who are out here doing this shit, you deserved it. You deserved it. Anywho, Japes, uh, Anywho. let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, uh, shall we? We shall. This will never change. Every year, this will always be the same. Um, it's Prince Day. Ah, oh, yes. Prince's birthday. Ah, oh, yes. So, uh, look, one of the reasons, again, why the show is the revolution is because Prince and the revolution were started right around that time. Yep. It's my fave. Love him. And uh, it's his birthday today. He would have been, I'm not even going to say his age, he just would have been awesome. Let's just say he would have been still awesome. Would have been still great, yeah. Yeah, and if he was alive today, I'd be, you know, and if, let's just say he had hit me up to hang, right? Just said, you know, because he had a deep voice. Uh -huh. Ross, I'd like you to, you know, come over. And sure. I'd be like, cool, let's just do some pills, hang out, and fucking, no big. you can play whatever weird shit you're playing these days. Right? Yeah. Let's yeah. Chill out. He's a big NBA fan. I've probably been watching. So let's, let, let me start my day off with Prince, right? Obviously, it was a it was a pill guy. So you you wake up, boom, popper, blammo. Yeah, uh, I don't think he drank, but I would be obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I'd have some yeah. some form of double, you know, Dublay to start the day off with him, mm -hmm. and uh, then probably head into the studio. I'd skip a I'd skip a workout that day. Wouldn't wouldn't work out at the hotel or anything. Obviously, um, roll right into the studio, fuck around with him. Uh, you know, he's probably repilling. Mm -hmm. uh, probably around 2, 3 p.m. at that point. Go back to that well and then probably just watch the Warriors game and hang out with him. Uh, I, I would imagine he would have some form of, of belly dancer who would serve us food. Uh, I, I have a feeling it would be like Mediterranean, like a lot of olives, um, kind of like a, like a tapas place, mm -hmm. right? Not mm -hmm. full meals. I don't see Prince going into full meals where it's like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to grow up a tomahawk steak you down. Mm -hmm. No, it's probably more of like uh, tapas, little finger foods, you know, because he's got to stay dainty. Sure. Um, and those pills will, will, will do it to you. So, okay. Uh, I think that's where we'd be at. All right. If Prince was alive today. <laughs> this was so fun and on the rocks. Oh, James. No! You don't have to worry about us being a B Coops and a Irina is her name. You know, Irina, I'm sticking this out with you. Oof. Well, uh, my space lady, I have a feeling I'm going to convince you <laughs> to come to space with me. And I think you're going to get over your space fear. I think it, I think that's what it is. You have a space fear. No, just an ambivalence. 
<laughs> That's all it is. Space ambivalence. <laughs> Don't care. I think also part of you Don't re- care about refuses space. to believe that space is real. Again, is it? <laughs> I don't care. Is the MoMA real? Don't know. Never going to go. <laughs> oh, these are fun times <laughs> we have together. We with, share with together. With this cultured gal of mine. <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube if you want to see all of this magic. Summer Swayze is in full swing. Uh, Jables. We're having no phones, no screens tonight. Oh, We're going boy, off the how grid boring. together. Uh, love you. Looking forward to, to spending some quality time with you. Me too. Without any electronics or technology near my face or eyeballs. Yeah. See if we can get this uh, train back on the tracks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because it is on the rocks. Or some people might say that it, like I'm in the deep end. Watches and better. For Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>